Welcome to the Food Service Sanitation online course for the fall of 2019. I'm Michelle Riley. I'm going to be your instructor for this course. And I wanted to do a quick video just to walk you through some things that you may need to know since this is an online course. So first I'm going to go over the syllabus with you. And you can access the syllabus right here, and I already have it pulled up. Um, so please read through this for this and every course you have. It's where a lot of the important information is found. Um, you can find some important things about um, how to contact me here, etc. Um, so there's a little bit about my, my phone number, my email. I prefer email communication. Um, I can email you back from anywhere. Um, I can really only call you back if I'm sitting in my office. And so it's easier to get a hold of me by email. Um, but if you want to set up a time to chat on the phone or a Zoom call, I am happy to do that as well. You can see my office hours here. Um, I'm on campus other days and times too, so if you happen to be on campus uh, another day or another time when you're taking a class, um, feel free to either shoot me an email or um, stop by my office, see if I'm around. Um, but I'm happy to chat with you. You know, If you see me in the hall on Tuesdays, even though I don't have office hours then, um, feel free to, to stop me and ask me any questions that you may have as well. Um, this class is online but I wanted to give you a little overview of what you need to do for the SurfSafe exam. So for this class, you are preparing to take the SurfSafe Manager exam. This must be taken in person on campus. And so the two choices you have are Wednesday, October 9th at 6 p.m. with a review starting at 5 if you would like to join that, or Thursday the 10th of October at 10 a.m. Again, you need to be able to make one of those. There may potentially be a couple of slots left in the in-person class times when they're taking them. So if you absolutely cannot uh, make either of these, you need to let me know ASAP and we may be able to find another time for you to take it that week. But this is a test that needs to be taken in specific times. It's not something that we can just offer any time. It needs to be proctored. And so you need to plan now. Um, you have plenty of notice. If you have to ask off work, if you have to arrange child care, something like that, if you can do the best you can to try to make it to one of these and let me know ASAP. If not, um, because this is a, the requirement for the course. Um, your textbook you have the SurfSafe 7th edition with electronic voucher and MyLab access. If you already have the book or if you prefer the ebook version or something like that, um, you just need the, the voucher and MyLab access, um, please contact me for a link or I can try to send that out. So there is a link where you, they will mail you the access code and voucher to take the exam. So the MyLab access allows you to get into my SurfSafe lab and look at the required um, assignments and things that you need to do for this class. The voucher is what allows you to take the SurfSafe exam. If you do not buy the book at the bookstore or even via the way that I, the link that I give you, please contact me um, if you like have a voucher or you have bought it from Amazon or something um, because we need to make sure it's the correct voucher, all of that. So I cannot guarantee if you don't purchase through either of these ways that you will have the correct um, voucher and other things that you need. So if you are trying to get another way, please contact me ASAP on that as well. Um, you can read through the descriptions, how to contact me, um, some other policies, so I won't read this to you, but please make sure you look at that. Um, a couple things to note on the evaluation and grading scale, 40% of your grade for this course will be from the MyLab quizzes and assignments that you're going to be doing. Um, and then the other 60% is from the certification exam. And just FYI, you have to pass a SurfSafe exam to pass this semester. Um, you do get a one second chance if you can make a makeup exam if you do fail the first time, but it has to be very quickly. Um, and if not, if you do not pass the exam, um, you will end up failing the course and having to retake the course. So please keep that in mind as well. So this is a tentative course schedule. Now with this being an online class, um, you can kind of work at your own pace. I'll show you the quizzes or chapter tests. I'll show you, sorry if that's confusing wording. Um, everything's due in my lab on the 8th of October. So, but this is my suggested schedule for you to keep up, kind of pace yourself. Um, you know, so if I were you, I would stick to this schedule. So you're doing two to three chapters a week. That way you give yourself some time to study, etc. cetera. Uh, the SurfSafe exam is not easy. It's not something that you can just run in and take without studying. So I really recommend you put a plan together, especially with an online course. It can be easy to forget about it, um, but please dedicate a couple of hours every week to looking at that. So back home, I want to show you a couple of things here. Um, here's what that video is you found. 
Um, so there will be PowerPoints for each chapter, and, and I've started actually recording the lectures as well. I think that was helpful for some students. So if you would like to, um, I really recommend you watch these. They're short. Um, but this is me going through the lectures just as, that, as if I was, you were in an in-person class. So please take the time to watch those for each chapter as well. And now let me show you my lab. So it's going to look a little bit different for you versus me. So I, I'm, I have an account. I'm already signed in. So here you would click Open My Lab and Mastering. And it's going to kind of give you a way to register. This is where you will need that my lab code. Now I will tell you um, it's going to be required for everyone to get into my lab the first week. Um, there is a way that you can get a two-week two free trial. So when you click on that my lab and master, and again it won't do it for me because it's connected to my account so it already knows me. Um, but when you're in there at the bottom of the page it will say um, you know where it asks you for access code at the bottom it'll say two-week free trial and so if you don't have that access code yet um, or if you purchase it via the link I'm going to send out um, and it's, you're waiting for it to come in the mail, you can go ahead and get on there and access my lab. Um, so make sure you look on that when it asks you for the code. If you don't have a code, look for that two-week free trial. It's kind of smaller print on the page. Um, and then sign up and go ahead into my lab. Um, this is going to look a little bit different, but what you'll be able to see is all of the assignments for this course. Hopefully. There we go. Okay. Um, so you can see they're all due on the 8th, so you have a lot of time, but please go in there. Um, so for each learning module, and the tests and quizzes, sorry I, I wore them on, as quizzes, they used to be called that, but they're called tests and sanitation, so don't confuse that. It's the same thing. You can take them as many times as you want. So you'll go into a chapter test, start it. Um, so I encourage you to, you know, take as many times. I think everyone should get 100% on this part. Um, and it'll just walk you through. They're not super long. Everyone's a uh, every chapter is a little bit different in how many points possible. Um, but just do your best to go through and answer these. Um, these are kind of testing your understanding, giving you practice, serve safe questions, etc. So you are required to complete the learning modules and chapter tests for each chapter. There's also two practice exams that I would recommend you complete as well. So that will all be then part of your grade for this course too. So again, you can get there through this My Lab tab. If you have any trouble signing up, let me know. Um, if you have trouble with access code, etc., please let me know ASAP. Um, if you wait until the end of the course, and remember this is only eight weeks, so if you wait till you know a month in, it, it may be difficult to solve that problem in time for you to get the resources you need to study for the test. So please do your best you can to get that all set up correctly. Um, you must complete the chapter one test in my lab um, during the first week of the semester. So please get on that and let me know if you have any questions, uh, and I look forward to a good semester.